If your home is seized by squatters, which can happen in New York and many other parts of the U.S., you can be arrested if you turn off their electricity or their water. This is what homeowners in New York City are being told at least. Town Hall said that under New York City law, anyone who lives in a home or apartment for at least 30 days can claim squatters' rights even if they broke into the property without permission from the owner. One woman told the outlet that she is in debt with maxed out credit cards after having to pay for all the expenses as squatters take over her home. She said they turned off the hot water and then reported that they had no hot water. It's a $250 fine per day, up to $15,000 punishable by five years in jail it notes that another said that he pays the gas and electric bills every month despite not receiving rent from the squatters. Now look folks, among the bigger issues with squatters, at least in my opinion, is they're making it more risky for average people to become landlords. Who wants to own a home in New York if it can be stolen from you? For a lot of people, buying a house is like a lifetime investment. Squatters are doing so knowingly violating our laws and knowing that they are, of course, making life for people here more difficult for their own personal benefit.